Let's go to bed. You're working at the shop from tomorrow onward, right? I got nowhere else to go. What's the deal here? <laughs> this the pity party for the guys who didn't get anything on Valentine's? Come on, lay off. Must suck to have no game. <sighs> Pardon me. Huh? Ryuji? Oh, Yusuke. <laughs> You're in the same boat, huh? Which boat? You know, the, uh, the big V-Day came and went and you didn't get any chocolates from the ladies, so... <laughs> I'm not sure what you're getting at, but I did receive some chocolates. <sighs> and come to think of it, you are kind of a pretty boy. So if you got all that chocolate, what are you doing here? A craving struck. I felt a powerful desire for some of Boss's coffee and his curry. And perhaps one of his desserts, if the opportunity presents itself. It may take some digging, but if I can find all the money on me, I should be able to cover it. How about you just take a seat? Duh. Oh, it's just like last year. But maybe I'm... Just, I was all set to complain, but I don't know. Maybe girls don't like me for a reason, like I'm doing something wrong. Oh no, who are you? And what have you done with Ryuji? Ah, shut up, cat. Just thinking, that's all. It's better than moping, I suppose. Admirably constructive. Right? So, how about it, boss? Any tips on the ladies? My only tips are in a jar. While I'm certainly in no rush to find a relationship, I confess I'm curious to hear Boss's thoughts on love. Same here. Well, uh, it's, it's pretty complicated. In my experience, women can be casual about expressing attraction to guys. Sometimes it can be subtle, and popular guys definitely pick up on those cues. So what? We gotta keep an eye out for these hints? No, the opposite. See, women, they like guys who know themselves. You gotta know how to be comfortable with who you are. And a guy who's constantly on high alert, trying to chase love? Sounds to me like he's still figuring himself out. Man, this is complicated. Yep, that's love. Never as simple as it looks. If it was, it wouldn't be any fun. Whoa, that's deep. Quite enlightening. But I suppose that confirms it. Pursuing love for its own sake would be fruitless. I'll let my heart guide me. When the time is right, I'm sure I'll know. Yusuke seems pretty confident. I don't know if it's gonna be that easy for me. Well, I'm no Yusuke. But I can work on figuring myself out. Once I do, I won't have to look for a girlfriend. She'll come looking for me. Hell, I'm gonna be swimming in ladies. <laughs> Sure you will, kid. Not used to getting serious about this stuff. Could use a meal after that. You guys want to go eat somewhere? <laughs> My treat. Seriously? I, I couldn't ask for a full meal. All I wanted was some coffee and curry. And that's different how? I need me some fancy restaurant sushi. Or a steak. A5 grade. <laughs> Even the cat's all worked up. Here, let me close the shop and we can head out. Oh, uh, you can have this. Got it from some lady at a convenience store. <laughs> I mean, she was an employee, but hey! What? Hell no! Hey, if you two lovebirds are finished, we've got a restaurant to get to. Oh, crap! Sorry!
Come on, they're gonna leave us behind. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. I'm the one who should be thanking you. So, thank you. Well, look at this hotshot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. Oh, uh, sorry. Did I say something wrong? Um, <laughs> I'm sure you have nothing to worry about in that department. How about we stop right there, lady? For his sake. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. Weren't girls supposed to give chocolate to the guys they like yesterday? Hey, are you going to be okay? My gentlemanly nature is making me worry about you. Hey, what did you do? Outside the store, is that... Whoa. I saw the light on in here last night. Did you think you'd just try and trick this romantically impaired fool? I was worried about you, so I came to check on you yesterday. You could have just said you were busy, even if you had to lie about what you were doing. So you already have a favorite? I came to say hello yesterday, but when I looked in the window, you were with someone else. You dick! Yesterday? Who were you with? <sighs> I got worried yesterday, so I read my own fortune. It said that you're seeing someone else. You seem to be doing well. Did my little guinea pig forget to turn off his lights last night? You're such a problem, child. I left work early yesterday to see how you were, and I saw you with someone else. What the heck am I doing? I got quite the scoop yesterday. A boyfriend caught cheating. I'm not very happy about it, though. You were here with someone else yesterday, weren't you? Are you cheating on me? Please tell me it's not true. I don't want to suspect you of anything, senpai. But if something's going on, I want to know. Take it. Take my chocolate, please. Before I crush it. And here I came all this way for you. This was for you. Here, take your chocolate. There's no need to be modest. Just take the chocolate. You can eat this, right? It's chocolate. Here. It's chocolate, got it? Here's your chocolate. Can you eat this chocolate for me? Hey kid, say something. Are you making a fool of me? Enough of this irresponsible behavior! You're the scum of the earth! I'm disappointed. Are you being serious? You'll pay for this. Stop messing around! So not funny. This is absolutely terrible. You're terrible, senpai. Oh, uh, I was just about to go shopping. <laughs> Take your time. Oh, see you later. If you survive.
Cheer up. Here, have this. What a pain, though. I had to come up with this whole web of lies for you. I was having him help out at the store. I didn't realize it was Valentine's Day. Don't worry, he always talks about you. You're his one and only. That was enough to get you off the hook for now. But make sure your story matches mine. Got it? <laughs> 